Uh, coach, free throw difference. Uh, they shot 38. You shot 18. They made 12 more than uh, you all did. Big difference in the game. Well, we fouled a lot. You know, I thought Brent Arrington was. He did foul. You know, we we got to do a better job of that. Just moving our feet, not our hands. You know, uh, but you know, it's it's hard when you don't have your point guard out there. You know, especially in a situation like this, because I thought we'd been playing pretty good against Zone. But to ask Corbin Collins to just come right in and play 39 minutes at the point guard spot, that was that's too much to ask for him right now. Uh, and you're not and you're without your general. I thought that was a major part, and I knew that that was going to be something that we were going to have to overcome uh, tonight. And as you saw, we just did it because we could never get into a groove. You know, we got up and then you know we bring Brent back in and he throws a bonus pass out of bounds. You know, you just can't do that. You know, it hurts you. And uh, you know. Our, our mistakes down the stretch, especially on the offensive end, uh, really was the telling part of the game tonight. Some controversy on that call near the uh, sideline there. What did you see on that play? I just saw us tra had a trap, you know, and I thought it was going to be a five-second count or something. And the referee said that he saw Angelo hit him in the head or something. I mean, you know, the guy's moving around. You know, he's going to hit somebody because he's trying to clear, get out of the trap. But he called it. and. Um, you know that 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 hurt. That that really hurt, uh, especially at that point in time. Uh, your production out of Karama Shore and Billy Reed are really lacking today. They're not consistent at all, and we got to get some consistency out of them. And that's been our problem as thus far as we're not getting any consistent play out of either one of them. Uh, Lionel Gaines, though, I I think he's really come on the last he's two games. Along, and like I said, you know, we may be seeing Lionel Gaines implemented into the starting lineup now until Kate gets it because you know we we, we got to get something. Is this kind of is this kind of game you kind of alluded to it earlier? But does this game kind of kind of reveal how much you need story out there at times? Oh, you just saw it. You know what I'm saying? You know we were lethargic. You know we were running stuff, but he he brings a different type of flavor. You know he he puts more pressure on the defense than Corbin does. You know Corbin's still trying to get his groove. You know what I'm saying? He, he's not there yet. Uh, but to to be without your starting point guard in a game like this when it's a game of guards, you know was, was very very difficult for us. Mr. Wilson. Yeah, had, had a huge night, especially uh, from beyond the arc, too. Five, seven, three. They, I know they like to shoot a lot of threes, too, so that's why you had to go man to man on the yeah, Exactly. Line. I couldn't go zone. You know, the my assistant was saying do it, and I couldn't change it up as long as he was in the game because, as you said, saw, he only missed two shots, you know, two threes tonight. And both of them, the ones he missed was very close. And then the last one, you know, we just got lost. We trapped him. We had exactly what we wanted. And uh, you just, you know, we were late rotating over to him, and, you know, that, that was the, the shot of the game. Uh, Cor Corbin shot a lot of shots there at the end. Would you like to see Angelo kind of take over, go get the ball, and do what he does? Well, you know, it was zone, so Angelo just can't go get the ball and do what he does. You know what I'm saying? you got to run your zone offense. And we just didn't we didn't infiltrate their, their gaps uh, as well as I would have liked. That's where Kareem's story comes in uh, and, and starts that, and we just didn't have him tonight. Yeah, Jalen Riley had 21 of their 28 bench points tonight, too. Obviously, that's, you know, we had nine of them from the line, but at the same time, it's trying to, to key in on, on several guys. Well, it's hard, you know, as you know, my, our style of play is speeding you up, and when the referees are, you know, calling it as tight as they did today, especially on us, it's kind of hard for us to get going a little bit. Two fast break points, is that more of a product of Kareem not playing or their defense and their style of slowing it down? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. You know, uh, we just didn't have that speedy guy when we got a rebound. You know, Corbin's not that speedy guy, and he's not comfortable yet, you know what I'm saying, to really break down the defense and, and, and be confident in going by people and zoop, 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 and making plays. Where Kareem, that's what he does. So how long do you think Kareem will be out? Hopefully he'll be back on Thursday. Force them uh, to, to score 25 points below their average. Are you at least impressed with the, the way the defense played tonight? Defensively, we, we're, we're really good. You know, just our offensive efficiency, not getting anything from Karam, not getting anything from Billy. You know, Billy's got to give us eight to ten points every night. You know what I'm saying? And he's just not doing that. Yeah, we saw that Marshall. Yeah. You know, so we got to go back. You know, it's still a work in progress. But like I told you before, we got to stay, you know, we got to beat this injury bug. You know, it's every every game is somebody. I haven't played, oh, I've played one time with a full deck, and we go on the road and beat Marshall. So, you know, I'm trying to get a full deck and, and, and create some consistency in our rotations. Two more questions if you have. I'm good. Okay. Thank you.